What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about the doggy dinner bowl look. Okay. This was popularized in Neil Strauss's book, The Game, okay, which is how many of us found out about the seduction and the pickup underground community. Okay. Before I go into what it is and how you can use it to your advantage, please like and subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell to be alerted of my new videos Sunday to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, okay? So, the doggy dinner bowl look. As you can see from this picture behind me, this is the classical look. What it's referring to is when, like, a dog is about to eat and it's salivating, okay? And it's giving you kind of, like, these these wide eyes, like, with its tongue out, like, just kind of, like, ah, uh, right? Okay, it's also referred to as anime eyes in other areas of the community. Okay, so when you see this, if you see this in an interaction, it's basically a green light to move escalation forward. Okay, so you pretty much have a green light to go for the kiss. All right, this can happen at any stage in the interaction. All right, it's, it's typically going to happen when she feels like a big spike of attraction. She's going to give you this look. When you see that look, you can go in for the kiss. All right, now here's how I go in for the kiss. I have my arm typically around the girl's back and I like I say let me see your eyes. Okay? She leans in and I say um what we'll call your eyes? Let me see your eyes, right? And that what that's doing is that's lowering the compliance threshold for the kiss to happen by moving our faces closer. All right? So but if she's giving you that doggy dinner bowl look, you can typically just kind of pull her in and go for the kiss right there. Okay? But otherwise, you're going to say, let me see your eyes. You bring the faces closer, okay? And then I'll typically say, I want to see how you kiss real quick. I'll, I'll just say that explicitly. Let me see how you kiss real quick. And a lot of guys are like, oh, I, I can't say that, right? Like, oh, you, I can't be that explicit about it. Like, up to this point, you should have been making sexual innuendos. You should have been being physical to some degree, okay, nudging at her side, holding her hand, putting an arm around her back. So it's not like some giant uh, shock to the girl that you want to kiss her, okay? And that's how I prefer to do it personally. I don't just like, when I just like stand there talking and all of a sudden I just like lean forward and I'm like, you know, and just like hope for the best. Um, so that's, that's how I personally do it. And then if a lot of times the girl doesn't like PDA, which means public displays of affection. So if she's like, oh, no, no, like, I'm like, don't worry, like, no one's watching. Like, like, look, no one's watching. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I'll be like, look, no one's watching. Just kiss me real quick so I know that you know how to kiss properly because a lot of girls are really bad at kissing. And then I'll say, oh, yeah, like, a lot of girls will do, like, the little peck kiss where they're like, where they barely open their mouth. Or, <laughs> or they'll do, like, full-on tongue where like they're just have their has their tongue in your mouth the whole time and it's fucking gross. So I'll be like just real quick, no one's watching, right? And then after we do the the one kiss, I'll be like, "Damn, you can do better than that." Or like, "Damn, that was really good. Come here." And we get into a full on make out. Um but you want to be on the the lookout for this this look, right? So like if you open the girl and she's like like that, right? You can pull her in and be like, damn, you're fucking hot. Come here and start kissing her, right? If you make some kind of joke or whatever throughout the interaction and, and this is like, this look is triggered, then you know that you have the green light, okay? Now, this is talked about in Neil Strauss's book, The Game. It kind of got lost in modern seduction and dating talk, but it still is a really important indicator that the girl is attracted and down it's and you know going to be receptive if you were to make a move so to speak to go for that kiss okay because a lot of guys are like when should i kiss the girl and it's not like you have to just wait for the doggy dinner bowl look the general rule for going for a kiss is as you build up investment and compliance right like she's spending time with you you're flirting you have this sexual frame thing going on as all that's happening uh she is getting more and more likely to kiss you, right? Like you've, you've set a non-platonic frame, you set a romantic frame, so to speak. So it's not like 
she thinks you're just in there having what I refer to as a fact exchange. Okay, if you are doing that, make sure you stop that right away and get more into sexualizing things and get more into making innuendos and, and putting yourself out there, being physical, etc. Because you don't want to just have a bunch of fact exchanges. What's what, what's going to happen there is the girl's going to say like, okay, it was nice meeting you. Have a good night. Okay. Or she's going to say, um, you know, I have to go find my friends. She's going to make some excuse to eject for the interaction because you are not being a man. You're being a pussy. And she doesn't want to continue forth a boring interaction where you're being a pussy. Okay. So I typically go for the make out or the kiss after I've moved her away from her friends. So I'm doing an isolation away from her friends. And then I get into the make out there. And that's why that's why I'll kind of post up against the bar, have an arm around the back, you know, bring her in close. Um, you're really sexy, right? Um, let me see how you kiss. First of all, I'll say, let me see your eyes. And then let me see how you kiss. But I want you guys to start taking note if and when you get this anime eyes or, or doggy dinner bowl thing, okay? Um, this is a pretty surefire way to know that you are good to go for the kiss, okay? And lots of guys don't know to look for this, and therefore they miss their, their window. They miss their opportunity to get the kiss. So don't do that. Make sure you are making the move once she gives you that green light, okay? And make sure you're like, okay, here's a little note on the internal mindsets. Because a lot of guys are like, oh, well, what if she get, what if she rejects me? Like, like the worst that can happen, well, the worst, worst that can happen, she tells you like, fuck off and like storms away. Okay, that's that's very unlikely. If she's not ready yet, if she's like, oh, no, no, I can't. You're like, don't worry, nobody's watching. It's cool. And she's like, oh, no, 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 like, I, I just can't. Like I, like, I don't know you well enough yet or whatever. You can just like tease her a little bit and then continue forward. But but don't have this mindset that like, oh, it's it's this huge move, like it's this huge risk of putting myself out there where the girl can just like stomp me down and, and, and crush this, right? And she can just be like, you know, really offended or <laughs> or whatever or whatever you think. Like a lot of guys, like in my mastermind group, for instance, they're like, well, what if the girl doesn't want to kiss me? Like what if the, you know, what if she's not receptive and then I look stupid? Don't worry about like, if you, if you have those mindsets up front, all it's going to do is handicap you, okay? You don't want to be handicapped up front. Instead, you just want to assume that it will go well, assume that the girl likes you, assume that the girl wants to have sex with you, and then if you make the move, and, she, and it shouldn't be some big move, by the way. Remember, compliance is this, this gradual increase throughout, right? You, you're gradually ramping up the physicality, gradually ramping up the sexual verbals. Um, it's not going to be like this big move where like you're just talking, talking platonically and then all of a sudden you're like, hey, let me see your eyes and you're asking for this big ask of her to go for a kiss. Um, instead, it's just like the natural next step in the interaction. But you guys have to stop handicapping yourselves because if you think that the girl isn't going to be receptive or that it's going to go wrong or that people are watching or et cetera, et cetera. That's going to fuck things up, okay, so to speak. And... You should always just be assuming that things are on and that things are going well. And this is what a man does that's sexually interested in a woman. Okay, and this is what a woman expects. So it's not that big of a deal if she's offended. You would be like, oh, sorry, I just thought you were really cute. I thought we were having fun. Like, I just want to kiss you anyways. And you don't, you don't say like, why don't you want to kiss me? You're like, you're like making it into like this kind of awkward confrontation where you're like analyzing uh, why she's not down to kiss. Okay, so to recap, um, if you get this look, this anime eyes doggy dinner bowl look, as you can see in the, the picture behind me, go for the kiss, okay? And if you have not had that look yet, but you're flirting and, and it feels like the moment is right, okay? And it doesn't need to be some, some big move, like I said, or some big moment. You're just in there, you're flirting with her, you guys are... You know, you just feel that things are on. You're feeling the chemistry. Um, she's laughing at your sexual jokes, etc. Hey, come here, let me see your eyes. I just want to see the color of your eyes. She comes closer. Wow, your eyes are really sexy. Can I see how you kiss real quick? And that's, that's it, that's the whole thing. And then you just answer the PDA objection if you need to, okay? So that's it for this video. 
please like and subscribe below if you have not already. And uh, expect social prime roast this week. Uh, that will be fun for everyone, as well as more infield footage breakdowns. Thank you guys, and have a great week.